Recently, I put out a video about the iPhone 7 and its lack of a 3.5mm audio jack. In that video, I said it would be a much better move for the consumer if instead of only having a lightning connector, Apple had switched to the USB Type-C connector. In this video, I'll talk about the differences between USB-C and lightning and the advantages of each. First off, USB Type-C is an open standard, while the lightning connector is proprietary to Apple. This means that USB Type-C requires no license and already works with thousands of devices. The lightning connector is proprietary to Apple, so if any peripheral maker wants to make something that has a lightning connector, it means that they need to license the technology from Apple. It'll also only work on devices that Apple says can have a lightning connector. Right now, this is only the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPads. On the other hand, USB Type-C can be found on most laptops, desktops, and phones. USB Type-C also has a much higher transfer rate. It uses USB 3.1 while the lightning connector uses only USB 2.0. So USB 3.1 allows for up to 10 gigabits per second, while USB 2.0 allows for only 480 megabits per second. Now the lightning connector is slightly smaller than the USB Type-C connector. It has a volume of only 67 cubic millimeters, while the USB Type-C connector has a volume of 120 cubic millimeters. Both USB Type-C and lightning connector can support audio and video. The lightning connector can support up to 1080p video, while the USB Type-C connector can support up to 8K video at 60 frames per second. USB Type-C also has a higher power output. It can output up to 100 watts, while lightning can output up to 12 watts. This could have any application from faster charging to plugging in a monitor into your laptop and powering that monitor, giving it audio and video over a single cable. USB Type-C is a new standard that has only been available for a short time, but we are already seeing it appear on most new phones, laptops, and desktops. It will replace those square USB Type-A ports that everyone's familiar with, as well as micro USB ports that you'll see on most phones. It's faster and more versatile than Apple's Lightning connector, on top of being an open standard. There's no single governing entity, meaning that anyone can make peripherals and can advance the technology. In the competition between open or proprietary, open is always better for those who use it particular feature, the lack of a 3.5mm headphone jack. Let's talk about why this is bad for anyone who buys one of these phones and the industry as a whole. That Sony sets with all their consoles, it's the same internals in simply smaller form factor. On the other hand, the PlayStation 4 Pro is a real upgrade over the original PlayStation 4.